Good morning to you, my loves. I hope you're doing really well. I am going to film a bit of a life update chatty video today. It's not going to be too varied. Like I'll probably go to Aldi now because I need to get some milk and bread and vegetables. And then I will probably go and um, have a look at what's in the middle aisle. I'll just show you that. And then come back, unpack that, chat. Uh, yeah. So grab a cuppa. It's going to be one of those. My skin is really flaring up at the moment. I don't feel great. Uh, so excuse that. Um, but yeah, let's have a little chat, chat and catch up and grab a cuppa, basically, and probably get comfy. I'm here at Aldi, very delayed because George, bless him, lives on planet George. He's such a sweetheart, but the kid forgets everything. So he forgot his coat today. Don't let the blue skies fool you. It was absolutely pouring with rain when I dropped him off this morning. So I had to go and sort his coat out. Um, so anyway, I'm at Aldi now. I haven't actually had breakfast yet. And I'm going to show you what's new in Aldi, the middle aisle. I really, really would love to find some bedside tables. I don't know if I've got furniture at the moment, but I'm going to have a look. And yeah, then I will be going home to eat some breakfast and put away the shopping. But anyway, let's go and have a look at what's new. yourself do you really think it's gonna help if you always fight in yourself trying to forget how you felt just take a look at yourself looks like we've got tools we've got tools in at the moment it's all a little bit sort of odds and ends really i would say excitement this end. Let's keep going though, might be better around the other side. I feel like this might be the least exciting middle aisle I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> it just feels like it's the last bits left over before they do a big change. Oh no, what are the pet bits? Okay, what about here? We've got some garden things. Growing pellets, some little food racks. Era. What's this? Vacuum. I've tried that brand. Do not need more candles. Do not need more candles. Do not need more candles. Move away. feel like there's much to write home about. Really? It's a shame. They have got tons and tons and tons of Easter eggs. So these are 2 dollars I'll just show you the size of them. What the size? $2.99? How does that fare? Got all the different brands. Oh, $4.49 for the massive Galaxy one. So yeah, and then they've got their own stuff as well. These look quite fun. And all of these ones here too. So yeah, loads. All their nice ones as well. Oh, that looks quite cool. Oh no, it's broken. That's a shame. Oh look, they're all broken. That is such a shame. I've got a few bits here. New things. Just team up. It's all so random, it's just literally in there with like <laughs> cleaner and then like fabric conditioner and then a big clay mask. Very random. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a perfume. Oh, oh hello. Uh, anyone that's got this, tell me what the dupe is, what that is a dupe for. That's $5.99. Some lots of vitamin C products here, like that eye cream. What's that one? Oh, girl gone bad. Mascara. Talk about a disappointment. That was really not good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm hopeful that 
this is just the end of like the winter stuff and we're coming into something more spectacular than that uh but yeah i actually bought a couple of i'll show you the champagne that i bought because i'm just like basically trying to buy a couple of bottles a month because it's my 40th this year and we're going to save up to have like a party or something i haven't quite decided yet so i thought if i just spread the cost out it's not until the end of november then it'll just be easier so i'll show you those because they're really really nice and yeah I'll show you the other stuff i've got but anyway i've got to eat i haven't eaten yet and it's like 10 o'clock <laughs> so i'm home now um i thought i'd just share this little tidbit with you tidbit tidbit tid bit I don't know which way it is. Uh, um, basically, I had to buy the shirts for the children because I don't know if you've got children, but the rate in which they go through white school shirts is ridiculous because, and we try and like stain treat them, but they have like mud across the chairs, paint all down the side, and you're like, how have you done this? But, um, so I bought some new shirts for them and I just wanted to share this little like inflation story time. So I found this, three pounds. This is a size six, which I'm hoping is gonna fit George because it was the cheapest one, so I bought him a smaller size. It should still fit him because he's quite a small child. Um, and then I was like, oh, that's interesting. This one's five pound, like the exact same. And then I found another one, which was eight pounds, the exact same. The only difference is this sticker here, Perfect White, was on the three pound and the five pound one, but it wasn't on the eight pound one. So I took it to the till and I just said, what's happening here? <laughs> like, can you help me? And they basically went off and they discussed it and they said that this one, which is three pounds, is the new, is the old stock. So this is old stock, nothing to do with the sizing because they had like, basically I'm trying to say like, it's not because one is bigger than the other because they had smaller sizes in this high price. So three pounds is because it's old stock. I mean, that makes no odds to me. I just want to buy the shirts. And then five pounds because it's new stock. So basically they've gone up for two, by two pounds, two pounds more for the same shirt. And also they used to be three packs. Oh, and then the eight pound one, she said, oh, it's because it has the perfect white for longer, stays white longer. The irony is this one, the ones that were eight pounds didn't have the sticker on. So basically what we're saying is it's eight pounds now to buy a two pack of shirts, which were three pounds for three shirts. <laughs> Inflation at like a prime example. But anyway, if they need to have them. It is only three pounds for two shirts, which is a great price. But it's just interesting, isn't it? How like, not interesting, a little bit depressing really, how much everything's gone up and they're like, it's just new stock. So that's why it's more. Okay, well, it doesn't, I don't care if it's old stock. I just want the same shirts as it is. But anyway, right, so I, I won't do an Aldi haul really because we're actually waiting for our HelloFresh tonight to come. I just bought some like bits that we don't get in the HelloFresh box. So um, I'll try that one out as well. Don't know if that's, I like the sound of that one. That's mandarin and lemongrass. Yeah. Smells like mandarins. Can't smell the lemongrass yet. Um, got some tomatoes, bananas, squash. What I did buy. Ugh. Toilet roll, essentials, cheese, we've run out of cheese, ham, run out of ham, tissues, and this is the juice that we always get. Right? It turns out I am doing an Aldi haul, guys. It turns out I am. As I said, we have got a fresh coming later on. I'll show I'll talk to you about that in a second, because that's what I was telling you about. So, oh my gosh, I thought that was just gonna go on the floor then. Squash for the children. These just like these are like the emergency juice boxes in case we don't have any squash. I keep them at the back of the cupboard just in case. I'm like, ah, I know, I have something. These are for lunch boxes. Oh, and then some um, rapeseed oil. Now, what was I going to show you? Oh, here. So you can't even see me. So this is the champagne that I've discovered recently. It's $14.99. And it's really nice. It's really dry, like a brute champagne. And I don't really get a headache from it. So I had that actually. One of my girlfriends brought it over for like a little evening. And yeah, so I thought what I'm gonna do is like stock up. So every time, well sort of like every month I'll buy a bottle and then by November I should have like, where are we now? 
where are we now? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Oh, nine bottles, that might be a bit much, but if I have a party, it just spreads the cost, basically. Uh, so yeah, let me put all this away, and then I'm gonna have a crumpet, because you can't beat a crumpet, guys. I do love crumpet. sad news I did share over my Instagram actually on reels which you may have seen or I did share a little short on here as well uh, but I thought I'd just talk you through it I just wanted to let you guys know uh, because she was such a massive part of my channel and obviously of our family uh, that sadly late on Thursday night we lost our baby fur baby Maggie she was sleeping on the sofa in her favourite spot and Stu had noticed that he'd been cooking dinner and he like noticed that she'd just been laying there for a while and like she's a cat she's an old cat she sleeps a lot right she's she's not um a spring chicken jumping around the place so that wasn't unusual but he sort of thought I haven't seen her move for a little while and for him to notice that he's not the king of observancy bless him so he went over and then literally he came and I was up with George just tucking him in uh, because he was still awake, even though it was quite late, but I'd been, I'll tell you actually where I've been uh, with work. But anyway, so he came running and his face was literally like white and he said what he thought had happened because he was like so shocked. And I was like, no, don't be silly. So I came over and I was like rattling her food, calling her. And she honestly just looked like she was asleep. Um, so it must have been like an aneurysm or a heart attack or something because she sadly didn't wake up from that sleep. She'd had such a lovely last day. Like it's not been sunny for ages because it's obviously been winter and it's not been warm and it was really, really warm. And she'd been outside on the patio and she'd been rolling around. She'd come in, she'd nuzzled at the corner of the table, which she just loved to do. She was eating, going to the toilet. Like everything was normal. There was nothing out of the ordinary this day, which is why we can just only think that it was just like a massive heart attack or something like that, which it's awful, but it's like, there was no pain, like you, she just slipped away so, so peacefully, so gently. And like her whole life, like she was always such a legend, like she never, there was never anything wrong with her. Like she was just so easy and straightforward and never like difficult. You know, like some pets have like got lots of illnesses and lots of expensive vet bills and stuff like that. I just honestly thought that she'd last forever because she just was, she just never, age like she looked like a kitten she was just so so sweet and she'll be so missed obviously the children I've, I've had her since she was a baby like well Stu and I before the children were born and that's their like little fur sister and George will say oh we'll be sat on the sofa and he'll say oh this is when Maggie usually comes over and sits on our lap or Henry will play with the toy and he'll say oh Maggie used to love this toy and She'd always, she wouldn't like the loud noises of when their friends were here or if like they were running around the house, so she would hide in the lounge and as soon as my bum would hit the sofa, she'd be on top of me, nuzzing at me like on my laptop, sitting on the keyboard, just making it really hard for me to work. So yeah, we've got so many fond memories of her and she will be so dearly missed, but I just wanted to tell you guys because I know she was a massive part of my channel 
you know, like if I'd be filming and she'd come along and lick bags, she always used to do that or play with my mic cable and chew through it and stuff. So there was always lots of Maggie here on this channel. So I wanted you to know, um, but you know, no one likes to lose a pet, but at least we know that she slipped away without pain and yeah it's just so sad isn't it to lose a pet and obviously we've had her she was 14 so we've had her since she was a baby like really really young um but i wanted to do like a little life update about it um because you guys did always comment about her and love her and stuff the same as us so i did a little video which i'll share with you now it's only a few seconds long shirts put away. I met, done a makeshift uh, fruit bowl because what I bought won't fit in our actual fruit bowl and it needs a little clean up so. Yeah it's so weird because I'd like I just went to draw the blinds in the lounge and usually she'd be in there and I just like hear her like I'll hear her little snoring or her bell tinkling um, but it's not her she's obviously not there so that's not very nice um but you just forget like that she's gone because you just think that she's there um that's grief isn't it grief obviously with a human and animal that denial sort of thing anyway i'm just at my desk Stu is in the office today so i've got the office here which is nice we get i'm much more productive up here uh, i'm just actually i don't know if you've ever seen this or if i've ever shared it so I have an Amazon store, which basically I update all the time with like my favorite things. So you can have either an idea list like this. So if I have gone anywhere or if I've shared like on my Instagram, my like outfits I'm wearing or things to do for vintage, uh, kitchen gadgets, anything like that, uh, they go way back basically you can just click into them so for example here you click into that and then it's all of like my favorites or things that I've been loving recently things I've been buying recently and then from there you can just click ahead and buy so I've really been interested in this feature because so many people ask me like oh where's that from where's this from and you also on that top tab there you also have photos, so I've clicked into photos and it'll be like my outfits and then you can literally go into them and then, oh, say that, you wanna know where the hat's from. It will show you the picture and then like all the items listed in the picture. So I'm just updating that now. So if you haven't ever seen my Amazon storefront, that's what it's called, like for example, cruising or holidays, uh, I'll put in there like things that make holidays easier like packing cubes amazing uh, my Avon spray you know I love that all different things in there so yeah I'll uh, link my storefront for you below if you've not used it before it's just easier because people ask me all the time oh where's that from or where did you get that from it's all there and it's one click away so that will be linked for you down in the description bar but yeah for now I've just got to do some work so I've got a couple of big sort of projects on at the moment which is taking some of my time away from YouTube and I was going to just talk about this in this life update because I have found since Christmas so I don't I haven't really ever taken like any time off of filming or uploading editing which takes up hours and hours like days of my day of my week is editing YouTube videos it does take a long long time and I've over Christmas I took a week off which was just absolute bliss I loved it so much just was my laziest version laziest version of myself ever and it's really hard for me to do that because I'm basically um I love what I do and I love helping you guys and creating content and it's a lot of work so I don't really get any downtime from it because obviously it's not just what you see here it's like writing or like press stuff and YouTube Instagram TikTok blog writing for publications there's a lot more than just like what you may watch on here but I do love it and uh, I've 
took that week off and then since then my views have never recovered it's almost like i've sort of like fallen off of the youtube algorithm which is vile like i hate the fact that we're we have to like get favored by their algorithm for you to guys to see my videos so what i'm round about set way of saying is i don't know if i'm going to pull back a little bit on youtube because it's so much work and people are not seeing them so whether it's that you're not being notified or you're choosing not to watch them i just feel like i've got other projects that i need to be working on at the moment i don't know i love youtube i feel like youtube is my home like i feel like it's my my like your my audience there is so such a community and obviously we have the facebook group as well uh which is a really nice community lots of people sort of like-minded people are there that's really nice but anyway I, I do love it so i probably will continue but there's a lot of like 1am finishes because that's the thing that i can do like in bed editing and um my skin at the moment is really unhappy with me i've even got a massive spot in there which is really painful so strange uh but yeah i think like the turn of the season stressful environment uh working and so i've like done a couple of like big work jobs recently so when i went to the caribbean that was as part of a press group so rather than it being like my trip you know like we do lots of work with the family going on trips this was like literally uh press people from tv people from newspapers uh people from publications and then myself and another creator so they wanted to show like a different like a holistic viewpoint of what it was but obviously it wasn't like a trip that i would do with my family it was a trip for the launch of their new cruise ship which was stunning and so many of you've got in touch to say that you are also going on rvl which is amazing uh but obviously sadly it wasn't like a, a family trip which we should hopefully be doing later on in the year to somewhere else to so keep an eye out for that one if you're interested but like, each person was there so like the mail on sunday guy was there to get about like the food and this and that and this so like their perspective is totally different to mine so when i do trips like this i want to know like what's the value for money why would people spend their hard-earned money on this trip what do you get for your money what's good about it what you know what's included that sort of thing so although yes the trip is not necessarily something that every one of you watching will be able to watch it's to show a wider audience and like people that watch that video probably 90 percent of those, those people don't actually follow my channel they're actually wanting to know what their cruise is like because they're booked to go on it and that's what i do when we have a trip that we're looking forward to and we spend years paying off or saving towards i am going to be on youtube watching reviews holiday vlogs trips everything like that just to see what it's like the value for what you get is really really good for a cruise which is why i am able to work with them and and want to share that with you people on that cruise were paying a thousand pounds for flights to and from antigua food all year all week long all of their transfers all of their entertainment their spa their um events within the ship like a thousand pounds obviously is a lot of money but if that is your you know holiday of you know a, a year of two years a three years whatever it is the value there that you're getting is amazing so I know lots of people are kind of quite negative about it and I get that it's quite jarring to see that on my my channel but from a perspective of going there as you know a wider marketing tool not just journalism not just tv presenters like this is obviously a, a marketing tool to put it onto youtube for people to watch it but I knew that there are people there. I spoke to so many people and it's a thousand pounds. Yes, you can spend a fortune if you're going to book it when the, sh the holidays are first released or when the um, you need to buy a nice sort of outdoor cabin. But, you know, these indoor rooms for a thousand pounds, it's just such amazing value. So, um, yeah, it's a bit tricky because obviously there's quite a lot of negativity that I've been getting from those videos. But I will only share things that I know are going to, benefit like people it doesn't necessarily mean it's you exactly your exact situation yes you may not be going on a holiday this year or last year yes it's been tough you know when we've gone on our holiday like our family holiday last year we saved for three years for that so it's not like i am just able just to do it like we've got one booked for 2024 which we booked in 2022 so that's another two years so like we are saving in the same way and i've done videos about how i budget for them how i spread the cost over years to get to that because travel as i've always said is like my biggest passion but 
I don't know, it's just difficult because I know in my heart that I'm not a bad person, but I feel like I get some negativity from people that maybe don't understand it or don't get it or haven't actually looked into exactly what it is. Anyway, oh my God, I've been chatting for so long. I said this was such a chatty video. But anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I've got to do some, I've got 300 emails that I have to get through um, before going to the school to do a little thing with my eldest. Um, because they have got like a little thing that I've been doing for six weeks with the school. So yeah, I'm trying to do the mum thing, do the work thing. And yeah, sometimes it's just, I feel like I'm dropping balls. I feel like I'm just dropping balls everywhere. Uh, so I didn't end the video. So here's me a few days later ending the video. I've just watched it all back and edited it all. And sorry for the waffle and the ramble. I think I'm just feeling a little bit sensitive at the moment because it's really hard to like put yourself out on the internet and people like just tell you you're not a very nice person which is ridiculous because I know I am and I know my values are that I would never work with a brand that isn't aligned to my beliefs and that it's going to help somebody it may not be you but it may well be the person next to you sort of thing so yes um anyway I'm going to say goodbye now and I will see you when I see you. Um, and thank you for watching. And if you got this far, comment below with your favourite ice cream flavour. <laughs> Speak to you soon, guys. Bye.